Hi. Tonight I wanted to share with you how I load homemade flight control buckshot. Um, <clears throat> I made a video over at the range shooting some. You could judge the performance for yourself. Uh, I'll post that video too. But I'll show you how I load it. Um, and uh, I'm still developing the loads. But um, I'm getting it to within <clears throat> like 16 inches at 25 yards, which compared to my standard loading of buckshot, um, that's, that's fantastic to tell you the truth. Um, it's just the nine pellets of uh, single watt buck in a Winchester double A 12 watt. There's a wad. There's a wad there. Um, what you use for your buckshot, I don't know, but I got a bunch of these, so I use these for about everything <clears throat> when it comes to shot loads. All right, so now you have your nine pellets, you have them in the wad. All right. This here, this is thread sealant tape, Teflon tape is all this is. You get it in the uh, at Home Depot. It's real thin. It's uh, Teflon and very staticky, as you can tell. But anyway, what I do is I just take it. I mean, with my fat fingers, you might not be able to see exactly what's going on here. But I just start it down the bottom. Get it going around. Take it around the wad a few times. Well, let's count. That was that was round two, round three, round four. Now, right here, you got to be careful. Your shot's going to come out. Go around there like round five, around like that. Stick your finger on the top, and you just pull, and it breaks real easy. All right, so then you have your buckshot. You have it in there. <clears throat> See how it's in there? Don't worry about that little thing ain't going to bother you, okay? All right, now my hauls, I condition my hauls uh, so the miles are nice and round. But uh, you just take it and you load it just like you would. And there's, oh, and by the way, there's 19 grains of uh, red dot in here. You might be able to see it down in there with a CCI 209 primer. You just load it like you do a wad slug. You stick it down in there. You just push it down in there. That's about it. You go through your standard crimping processes. Here, I'll crimp this one and then we'll roll up another one. I'll show you another one. Give me a second here. Crimp. Finally got my mech press set I never owned one I'm new to it but uh, there's the round right there <coughs> all right we'll load another one I'll show you it again take your nine pellets put them in the wad pellets in the wad Teflon tape um, this stuff is really cheap. If you think, oh, he's using a lot of it. Um, I mean, they actually give it away when they, when you buy a faucet or something. Just get it started around there. what I say? I went around there five times to get to the top. little practice you could get these going pretty good you know I mean I found out if I wrap them six times four times they all were within they're all pretty tight there it is. I know you think oh it looks ugly 
But if you're in 16 inches at 25 yards, that's way better than the, uh, you know, than going at it with the uh, regular buckshot. Because I, the mica fillers and stuff, they really don't uh, work all that great. Um, they say it keeps the balls from getting banged up and uh, everything like that. Which, I mean, I believe them. But does it really affect your flight all that much? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big buckshot super fan. But, uh, 19 grains of red dot. But if I could hit something with it, I'd be more of a fan of it goes right down in there and here before I crimp that one I wanted to uh, <clears throat> show you I have a piece of a 12 gauge barrel 12 gauge barrel here's the uh, wrapped buckshot as you see goes right through there comes out the other side and the Teflon stays on there now, when you fire these, you don't have some big piece of Teflon tape laying on. It just disintegrates. Goes into the air. Um, that's all. I mean, nothing's left in your gun or in the barrel. And like I said, you fired it. It actually acts as a, a lubricant almost. That thing comes right through there. But you do have to wrap them from the bottom up. So that your laps are over top of the next one down. And then uh, that's what you got. Here I'll crimp this last one. Show you it. There it is. That's it. Thanks for watching the video.